y'all know it's Friday. Yes, sir. We are ready for it, too. Man, it has been a long, frustrating week around here. I don't know if it's been that way for y'all. It hasn't really been frustrating. Uh, it's been long, though. We've had two weeks in one. We had the uh, Murphy's Law going around <laughs> here, buddy. If it could happen, it did. That's it. So. Everybody has weeks like them. Yep. I'm sure some of the people on the uh, watching the video had the same type of week. <laughs> Sometimes we have those back to back. <laughs> I know it. Well, how's life on the Maco truck? It's good. We've had a we've had a pretty good week. We've sold a cart. Um, got a scanner sold as soon as it comes in. Got two scanners sold as soon as they come in. So heck yeah, we've had a pretty good week. Um, got some stuff ordered. So. It's always good when that happens, right? Can't beat that. Plus, we got some new stuff to talk new about. New stuff. We like that new stuff. We'll talk about new it. stuff is awesome. We'll talk about all the new stuff this week, and then I'm going to skip next week and let her figure out what to talk about. So <laughs> Get rotated out, huh? That, that's it. She don't know that yet. Don't tell her. Okay. We'll play like it's a joke, and then I'll figure out a reason not to be here. There you go. Let her figure well, it out. Well, she did help me pick out some cool stuff for her next giveaway on the catalog. That's right. They'll probably be in next week. Yeah, um, I saw, um, I know one of the items have shipped. I saw that last night, but uh, no, I'll be here next week. I'm just playing. It'll be a chance for somebody to win something cool and pink. It's always cool to win something, because yeah. when you win it, it's normally free, so that's always that's good. That's better, ain't it? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I got one of them keys one time in the mail that said that I want a free truck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, at Tupelo. And Metro Ford, and uh, I went down there, and my key didn't work. I still ended up buying the truck. <laughs> they got me on that one. They spent probably thirty cents on a dummy key and maybe a dollar to mail it out, and end up selling me a truck over there. If they spent that much, yeah, they uh, sounds like they won big on they that. They did. One. They got me on that one. So, so <laughs> this is one of the new things this week. It's a rechargeable uh, magnet light. Uh, or matte lights what they're calling it uh, it does have different bends here you may think well though what's that for that's so that if it's in a curved uh area it can still stick to that it's got good strong magnets yeah it is 1100 lumen so it is nice and bright i won't i won't bond anybody uh, we will cut it on but uh, it has a three hour runtime. uh it does dim as well so i know that's a big thing to some people but it, it's also made out of non-marring plastic so that you can keep it clean, keep it wiped down because we want the blue to still be blue in a couple mm. of weeks, not all of a sudden change to that uh, dirty gray or whatever whatever you're working in. Um, but it's also nice and flat so that it can go into like the top of a toolbox or those drawers that we always talk about on the toolbox is like this thick that yep. we don't know besides uh, wrenches what you're going to put in there but Lay your extensions down that's it that's <laughs> extensions wrenches and and your screwdrivers if they ain't got too big of a handle but right um so and this does come in a couple different colors i've got green uh and blue right now i think they've sent out orange as, as well um uh, but i figured we'd all want to see the blue so, one, so what's it it folds it does fold so if it's going around like a uh let's say you're putting on a fender or something like that uh, it would it would shape to the fender um or you know underneath the car or something like that that way it gets a good strong because we've had we've all had those magnets to where if it's if it's rigid you know like two of the magnets are touching the other two's right. not or whatever it may be um this this will actually kind of form now everything has its limits right so if the thing's a complete circle then it probably won't uh do as well but it does have a little bit of forming ability so is way. the mat part to hold bits or what's oh you like, i'm just trying to wrap my brain around why you would need <laughs> a light on the mat when you got a magnet on the back of the light normally uh well i mean it does set up like that too okay. um i think they're just calling it the mat light because it's it's flat is okay. what i think it does have a hook on the back of it um i don't i don't think the mat really holds that much i didn't know if it had like a spot where it would hold tools like you know some of those little silicone trays got like bit holders and stuff like yeah that. no this one here uh I, I think they just did it to where they did it to where it could form 
Uh, and the first name they thought of was Matt because okay. it looks like a Matt, so that's what they went with. Okay. Um, but it does Fair have enough. it does have several little spots here uh, that you can click it in. So it don't have to only be you know lay flat or curve. You can also set it up uh, and form it however. And then the, the hook does have a nice little spot here. So it's just a nice, neat little cool light. Um, we've all seen the foldable lights where the the light bends in the middle. Right. Uh, and stuff like that. This is just another light for your collection because everybody collects lights. I don't care if you say you do mm -hmm. or not. Everybody has three different stream lights you or something. You gotta have them. So, that's pretty cool. I like this light. Obviously, I'm gonna say I like it, right? No, I'm, I'll be honest. If I don't like it, I don't like it, so. This here, this here ain't gonna be for everybody, but it is gonna be for some people. Uh, Milwaukee's had the, uh, an mm -hmm. even snap-on. Mm -hmm. It's had the power supply for their batteries. I think we've had them too in, in the past. Now we have one for the 12 volt and 16 volt batteries. It does have a positive and a negative port up top. So I you, see this is cool. This is my kind of stuff right here. Yep. So uh, if you're you know doing any kind of uh, installs, radios, stuff like that, or anything like that, these these come in handy. Um, comes in handy for a lot of things, mm -hmm. but I mean. It's nice to have your power supply up top as well. Yep. Switch on the bottom, cut it on and off. I'm glad they went with 12 and 16 volt because even though we're going away from the 12 volt line, still got a bunch of people that's got the 12 volt batteries. Sure. You don't want to force them to have to switch just for this. Mm -hmm. So the fact that it'll do both. Did they put a USB on there? I don't see a USB. Um, I think we missed out there. See, uh, that would have been a cool feature because yeah. like my Milwaukee one, I use it with the small 2.0 batteries, and that's what I use when we go somewhere for a portable phone charger. Yeah. And it's fantastic. Yeah, that that would have been great. Um, it also got it does have a fuse in the back of it, so it'll, it'll help protect stuff like that. But, yeah, I really wish they would have put a uh, USB of, of any sort on there. It would have been really nice if it had a regular style USB and a C and charger. A C, yeah. Um, but... We never know. That may come. We put it out there. Let's see what, how the world works. That's it. I know that little Milwaukee one that I got, I carry it and like I'll charge camera batteries. Like I can throw it in my backpack and plug it into my charger. And right. Well, and they've nice. even got some that go to the M18s and then you're seeing people mm -hmm. power little fans. And well, computers. you know, I bought that one from you, the little yep. M18 one, and I plugged it in. Remember my whole entire studio, all the lights and everything run off that one thing. Yep. That's, that's pretty, pretty nice too. I just wanted to see if it'd carry it. That's it. it. Let's just see what it'll do, <laughs> right? Burn um, it up day one. I, I find myself doing stuff like that too. Let's see the limitations yep. and then we know what not to do. Uh, this here, this is more my cup of tea. I like electrical diagnostics. I don't know what's wrong with me, but that's what yep. I like. And this is new. So it's, they call them the best angle uh, because they do bend. Right. Um, so we are able to get into tight spots. Uh, and we all know them connectors up in the dashes or even on the firewalls, whatever it might be, that you can barely get it unplugged. You're definitely not getting it, uh, a pin in it and right. with it plugged up. So That's this just nice helps you there. Right there. And just and stick it in the back side of it. Stick it in the back side of it. And it does have a sharp point here. So you are going to go down into there. Um, I, I like it. That's a good kit right there get that part number somebody's gonna need this in their life well that's just it I, I told somebody yesterday uh, I there's been people working for 40 years as mechanics and they think they have everything they ever had and then something comes out that makes the job a little bit easier Absolutely. Uh, this is one of those things we've probably all got the regular back style probe we probably got 10 different styles of back probing uh, whether it be the power probe set or whatever it might be uh, this would be something that I put in my toolbox pretty quick as well. I so. remember when they come out with the metric stuff. Yeah. My dad had everything in the world, SAE. Yeah. And something come in one day and it was metric. Lord, he was so frustrated. Now I got to go buy all these new sockets and wrenches. This is crap. You know, well, and then. You cussing know, and fussing and raising cane. Well, they threw uh, Torx Plus at us and then yeah. they, next thing, triple square and more torque and. Yep. They're changing fasteners every day, so I, I see uh, about weekly. I see somebody post a picture. Do we know what kind of socket that this takes or something? Mm -hmm. And it's a new bolt that they've slipped into the auto world. Uh, and it's like, well, uh, 
We'll yeah. figure it out. But. Do you remember the first time he sent a triple square? Uh, yeah, I was just as confused then as yeah. I was when I saw the more torque. When I first glanced at it, I thought, okay, that's a 12-point bolt, right? Because, yeah. I mean, I've worked on a lot of international tractors before, and you have to have 12-point stuff because a lot of that stuff's 12-point bolts. And I go over there, and I'm digging around, and I find them, and I go back over there, and I'm like, well, Jesus Christ, this thing ain't got enough points on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, here's where we'll insert the giveaway winner for the super clean stuff and uh, get that out of the way because I'm sure somebody's looking forward to cleaning something. So we'll cut to that real quick. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing the giveaway for the super clean. Um, like always, I'm going to be using the YouTube random comment picker. Um, as in every video, I have to say this, but I'm gonna say it again, do not respond to anything. If you did not see it happen on this video right now, it's a scam. So don't fall for any messages or anything like that. You won't be asked to pay for shipping. We will pick the winner. Uh, the product will be sent directly to you. You will not have to pay for shipping or anything like that. So the way this works, we paste the URL for the video, we hit fetch. I'm not going to include replies. And we're going to hit continue. It's gonna go through all the comments that was on the video and then we'll be able to pick a winner. And that's going to be who gets the super clean. So there you go. Jimmy Wardleo. He said, my brother passed away and left me his Chrysler Imperial. Rod left the conversion and oil got everywhere. So there you go. Jimmy Wardleo. Wardleo. That's going to be who wins the super clean. Um, make sure you send me an email at Coon Trucking 101. And we will get your name and info. And the people at Super Clean will send you your stuff. Congratulations. And there you go. So that's the winner of the super clean. So now you can clean up some stuff. That's it. It'll clean everything but your mind and your mouth. It may clean your mouth if you put enough of it in there. Who knows? Well, I've seen people eat soap before. <laughs> you ever had that done to you as a child? Uh, I can't remember. I remember my grandmother talking about it. I never had soap shoved in my mouth. You know, I've watched uh, the Christmas story so much of the kid doing it. I don't know if I did it or not, but that's one of those things where. Uh, I just got butt whoopings, a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. You know, my parents believed in that thing in the Bible where it's talking about spare the rod, spoil the child. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we didn't, there was no sparing of nothing. There was plenty <laughs> of, like now it would be, um, there'd be DHS and people going to prison for the butt whoopings I used to get, you know. But I'm thankful for it because like some of my buddies that didn't get whooped like that, like they went to prison. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so yeah. I'm thankful for that. Uh, I think everybody has those classmates that you were good friends with that now live a different lifestyle. Um, yep. Kind of more controlled at what time they can watch TV and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mainly because they're in jail and that's all they got to do. So yeah. I definitely, uh, raising three kids is fun. Mm -hmm. you, as a parent, you're like, okay, well, I know why that happened now. Yeah. Now let me pass that on. <laughs> so. That's something, man. People take a lot of stuff for granted. You know, I got a, one of the subscribers, he ended up emailing me. It's been several years ago. And we just kind of talked through email, you know. And he went through a pretty rough battle with cancer. He watches our video. Like, that's his his favorite thing is waiting for Friday afternoon, you know, to watch a watch a video he watches every one I'm a hundred percent positive he's watching this video but you know it got him so bad that like he owned his own shop and he worked on stuff it was just a small shop I think he had maybe one or two guys there but like now he's pretty much stuck at home all the time you know like it pretty much demolished his life you know and he he's looking forward to getting some pink stuff because anything he can help people out with you know, cancer stuff. So, yeah, can Pretty cancer dope. is uh, non forgiving in every way. Yeah. That's, that's one thing that I wish if everybody would come together and figure out a cure, it would be definitely cancer. Yeah. Um, 
you know we we've, we've had customers and then i've had friends that, that's had kids that's got diagnosed with it at an early age and it's it's it's, it's hard it's you would hard think to, you know if they could figure out the pandemic vaccine that we just got through yeah yeah if the government would help get behind all of that it you would think there would be a way that they could fix that too been several people to say that they're going to cure it and it seems like once they get in office they make more money treating than they do curing so yeah. so sam everything revolves around money seems yeah. like they, you know i've heard several times money is the root of all evil and i do believe that because sometimes you can take uh what you think are really good people and you you put some money involved in it and all of a sudden they're not so good they're yeah. just as evil as it can be so uh, luckily, I don't see any of us that way, so mm -hmm. you know, I would rather do without than see somebody hurt because I got a little Absolutely. bit of money uh, yep. to watch children and everything like that go That's through That's what's it. sad, man, when we see those St. Jude commercials mm -hmm. and stuff. God, it's rough, man. Well, you know, as a kid, you see those commercials and you think, ah, oh, that's, that's the worst of the worst. That don't happen a bunch. And then you, you grow up and you're an adult and it seems like every body you talk to knows a kid that has it yeah. or has beat it um heck just in the last three years there's probably been three uh kids at the high school in in, sure. in Boneville yeah. that's had to beat some stage of it i mean we we know somebody who's whose kid uh had it in their leg and then there was another kid in, in Boneville that had it in theirs i mean it's and the thing about it is it, it's it's almost like in kids that they're healthy enough to put it off to where when they do find it it's bad it's not early it's like right. the worst of the worst and it's yeah. a, a uphill battle the whole time so um, you know it would be cool i know matco does the pink for breast cancer it'd be cool if they do something like that you know for childhood cancer especially like with saint jude yeah you know because saint jude would work with anybody you know and there's a lot of people that would support that too you know and it would be, it'd be so i think thing. i may pass that up uh you know, I'll they could pick a different color or come out with something different, you know, maybe a blue and purple combo or, yeah. you know, something and just kind of start that and do a, you know, I mean, I don't make a ton of money, but we give, you know, to St. Jude. My wife's got that St. Jude tag on her car and, you know, we spent the money to get the, this t-shirt saves lives kind of yeah. thing. And like, it'd be kind of cool if, I mean, breast cancer is great. But like everybody supports it, I don't see why they wouldn't support it. Yeah. Childhood cancer as well. It's not like it's going to hurt anything. You know? Yeah, I. It's one of those subjects that I, I think I think we could pass it up and see what can happen. I mean, obviously I can't speak for my sure. and I'm not going to. But uh, I know that uh, I think that would be a worthy cause. Like mm -hmm. you said, I'm I'm not discounting any type of cancer. I'm not saying yeah. that any's yeah. worse than uh, the other. But I've always said that. If somebody in my family, whether it be my kids, her, I would rather have it. True, um, me too. Yeah, uh, you know, and I'm not just saying that because she's standing here, mm -hmm. but you know, a well, kid, I don't think anybody that's ever had a child would, you know, they'd trade their life for their child and right. it. You know, well, see, and that's the thing. We, well, our middle child, when she gets sick, she gets sick. Yeah, um, she. We've got one kid that you can't tell is sick when they're sick, and then we've got her that every time she's sick. It's to the Bad. extreme. Like when we take her to the doctor, like okay, her temperature's way too high, shouldn't be like this. Her white blood count's way too high, and every time a child gets sick, I'd rather it be on me. Like, sure. Go ahead and give it to me. Get it out mm. of your system. Let's let's get it over with. And of course, she feels the same way. You know, it, like you said, every parent's that way. So, you know, yeah. I just feel like as much money that we spend on stupid stuff. Absolutely. in the United States and, and pick your pick your poison I'm not I'm not naming one pick your poison you always see it you know it come out that we were testing you know monkeys on this you know blah 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 whatever you know why don't we use that money for try to beat cancer in some sort yeah. of way and, and I know it all goes back to the it's easier to treat it than it is or it's cheaper to chip or I'm not trying to say that it, they make more money treating it than they do if they cure it because sure. obviously if, it, if it's cured there's no treatment right mm -hmm. so and I just I wish we could get over that factor yeah let's get over making money well I definitely feel like after they proved what they could do with that vaccine yep. that we just had if they put that kind of resources and money 
into a cancer treatment. It would have, and it would happen quick. Like, look how fast they did that vaccine. Yeah. So the vaccine, and and a lot of people feel differently about it. Um, if if you're telling me, and, and I'm not saying that I believe in it or I don't, but if you're telling me that you created a vaccine that quick, you're saying it works that good. Why couldn't you do it for cancer? Yeah. You know. You and it. you know, I was against that vaccine, and I didn't take it. I still ain't taking. Yeah. Ain't gonna take it. Yeah. But I can tell you this, that I know for a fact. My wife got it because her job required her to get yep. it, and she got it. She got sick as hell when she got that vaccine. But I've had COVID three times, and she laid in the bed beside me, and I was sweating so much it was soaking the bed up, and she never got sick. Yeah, so everybody's just different there. Either way, if if it's now I, I seen it with my own eyes, and I still ain't gonna go get the vaccine. Like I just seem to deal with the issue yeah. because it we. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, I stayed in the bed for three days, but honestly, I needed it. You know? <laughs> so, but uh, it wasn't bad enough for me to get the vaccine. But it is, you know, everybody's got their own choice, and I chose not to do it. She chose to do it. Yeah. Even though she was kind of forced to, but it is what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, I, it is what it is. All, I, all I'm asking for is let's put a little bit of time and some of that money, mm -hmm. some of them millions, billions, into some research. You know, if, if we can't cure cancer, let's find out what's causing it. Yeah. Because I, I'm I'm a firm believer in everything is 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 created somehow. Absolutely. And we should you know that's another you you you've got cancer, but you've also got autism as well, mm -hmm. and and we we're big on supporting that as well. Yeah, so autism and dementia, all that. Let's find out what's diseases. causing it. And and if it's something that we're eating every day, let's get rid of it. Yeah. I mean, I don't care. You can tell I like to eat. Um, but me if you're too. telling me that it's it's causing kids to have cancer or autism, let's get rid of it. Well, one thing I can say about people that love to eat, and I know this for a fact, fat people get sick and lose weight. Skinny people get sick and die. <laughs> so I'm going to end it on that right there. That's a positive note. It's just insurance, <laughs> and that way you can make it through the next illness that you have. So. All right, guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video today. I know we got off on a little tangent, but if y'all want to see Matco do something for childhood cancer, St. Jude's or whatever, that would be a fabulous thing to leave in the comments because that would only help the case. All right, guys, like always, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. I'm pretty sure Mrs. Matco is going to have her stuff in next week for another giveaway. So you guys be sure to tune in. If you're not subscribed, you might want to do it now because we're going to do stuff different going forward. Y'all have a great week. See ya.